Hi, brave viewers. It's been an awesome year here at Pink Cars. As we are starting a new fiscal year, we need to close the past one first. So to analyze our company's financial situation, we need to close all of our financial statements first. Closing the financial statement? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, in order to close them, we should follow some best practices. Let me explain you how it works. So first of all, we should make sure that invoices, bills, expenses should be recorded and validated in time due. Secondly, make sure to reconcile everything that is not reconciled yet. After those clearing and suspense accounts, you need to make sure that there is nothing open on them anymore. And then verify the balance sheet items and the entries for the depreciation journal entries. And also, make sure your deferred revenues are correctly recorded as well. And finally, double check all accrued revenues and expenses as well, because once we close the year, it's closed, of course. So once all of that is done, we have one final step, basically the only manual step that you have to do in Udo. We need to allocate the unallocated current year earnings so that they are basically reported as zero in the balance sheet and basically reported to the next year. So Let's dive into our database and see how we can do this. So first things first, let's start with the settings. When we open the general settings, let's have a look at the one for accounting and look for our year in closing. Two options over here. The first one is the fiscal year. Here you can define the last day of your fiscal year. Most of the time it will be the 31st of December, but of course it's not an issue if the closing of your fiscal year is another date, just Change it over here and all your financial reports will immediately be updated. What if I start my business at the middle of the year? Can I change that? That's an excellent question, actually. That's why we have the fiscal years. If your first year or later, you have a shorter year than 12 months or a longer one, you can define manually. Just click on the fiscal years button and create a new one. Let's imagine our first year 2022, 2023 sorry, started in the middle of the year. So we're going to define here the starting date is the 1st of July, for example. And it still ends on the 31st of December. Um, so just select the 31st of December over here. Now, when saving it, our first fiscal year 2023 has been created. And all the later ones will just remain 12 months. So basically, that's the only setup to do. So let's go back to our dashboard jump into accounting and have a look at this menu over here, the accounting menu. In the accounting menu, we have our log dates. Everything starts from here. Basically, we are working differently than maybe some other accounting software. We don't work with periods. We work with a closing date. Way more easy because by filling in the date, all accounting entries before the date are closed. If you want to open it, you can just remove the date, of course, and it's open again. So we have three different dates. The first one is the tax return log date. We're not going to dive into detail about this one, but basically this one is only taking into consideration for tax. Um, so if you don't want to, to close the tax report, don't fill in this one. If we want to close the general year, well, you have two different dates over here. Basically, it's exactly the same. The only thing changes is based upon the access right. If you're working with, um, let's say, a chief uh, financial officer and some other financial officers that make some inputs, well, you can basically close it for all the users that are not the accountant over here. And if you want to close it for everybody, including the accountant, you can fill in this one. Wow, that sounds scary. Can anyone in the company just change the setting? Yeah, that's actually a very good question. Um, so basically, not only uh, the date is based upon the access right, also the menu. This small menu with the log dates is only available if you're an accountant. So let's say a bookkeeper that can only create invoices will not see that point. So basically, it's only the chief accountant that will be able to close the years. Okay, now that we've filled in all the different year ends, let's have a look at our reporting and open the balance sheet, for example. If you open the balance sheet over here for the year 2022 and we uh, go down into the current year earnings, we can see that for this year we have a current year non-allocated earning of 45,000 euros. So first of all, I can dive into there and jump into my profit and loss to see the detail of it. Now I want to close the year, making sure that it's reported to the next year. The only thing I have to do is create the correct accounting entry. So let's dive into our journal entries. I already prepared it over here, so I'm going to filter on the unposted ones in order to find the entry that I created before. 
which I named the closing entry of 2022. And you can see that I used the correct accounts here for Belgium. Of course, based upon your localization, the accounts will be different. But I allocated um, the result here of 45K. I'm just going to post this entry at the year-end date, 31st of December. And now, if we go back to our balance sheet, we can see that the current year earnings are zero because the entry has been posted and it's completely um, uh, allocated to the next year. We can see the detail completely over here. So that's it for closing the year. It's very easy in Udo. So I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.